Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric Paul. And right here you can see Eric Paul, the star prospect pitcher for the Fresno Grizzlies at this point, was called up to the Giants. And this is his Major League debut. And what a great way to start with the horrible pitch for Ball. So... I was shocked when uh, I was traded to the Giants. In fact, I was still in the AAA uh, League or whatever you want to call it. The Pacific Coast League, I think it was. And uh, I was playing for the for the Texas Rangers Round Rock Express AAA team. And um, yeah, that was that was pretty interesting. It was a little more difficult, obviously, than Double A. But I was not pleased when I got traded to the Fresno Grizzlies, and I knew I was going to be in uh, a National League baseball, and that means having to hit. And you'll see later in this video. What I mean when I say I'm not very good at hitting in this game, it's it's not great. And right there, you could see they almost scored, and it was an amazing play by the right fielder to stop that from happening, even though the second baseman did miss his dive. Eric Ball is still getting some strikeouts, but it's a little more difficult than than he's used to. And I was disappointed when I got traded, and then I, I knew I was going to be called up. Because the Giants have four good starters, and then one just decent starter. At least in the game, Barry Zito is only an 80. And at that point, Eric Paul was a 79 overall. I'm like, well, I'm probably going to get called up to the Giants before the end of the season. I mean, it's still a big accomplishment. And Eric Paul, you can see, actually had a pretty good game. He uh, didn't allow a run, no earned runs, even though the Giants did lose. But um, I knew I was going to be called up in the first season when I got traded, and I was expecting to finish out the whole season, the rest of the season in AAA when I was playing for the Texas Rangers. And I was fine with that. I mean, I may be an A's fan, but I don't care uh, what team I play on as long as I'm uh, in the American League. So I don't have to swing a bat and kind of be a liability for my team because that's all that's all I really am when I have to swing a bat uh, for for any baseball team, even if I'm uh, playing as a good player and I'm playing as a pitcher with no batting stats. But you can see I uh, took it to the next game. The Giants are losing. Now they're winning 3-2. to two. So Eric Paul actually has a chance for the win. And um, here's his very first Major League at bat. And right away, I guessed the pitch. And I swung. And because he's not very good, he wasn't able to really do anything with it. Um, and just popped it up. So that was unfortunate. Even though I am only swinging contact I've never really uh, had a chance even after these games and and uh, in the future I've never really had a chance to bunt or sacrifice bunt to advance the runners with a decent number of outs because usually if there are runners on base there will be two outs or something stupid like that so I'll just swing away if there's no one on base. And um, you can see that's just not very good. Eric Paul's having a pretty good pretty good relief here. He was brought in after the second inning because they gave up two runs. And right there, I was like, oh boy, here it goes. <laughs> it's, it's happening again. MLB is so hard to pitch... I was lucky that there was a double play, but they can they can hit it from anywhere in the strike zone. Like I'm I'm still pitching the same way that I was in Triple A and Double A, but it's just harder. Like they're they're hitting the high inside 
fastballs or they're they're hitting balls out of the strike zone, which is just ridiculous. Even though it's true, they can't you know, real baseball players can do that. It's just as a as a pitcher, it's really frustrating, especially when you didn't want to be called up. Like most players, most commentators on YouTube, most people that play this game want to be called up. I did not want to be called up yet. I knew I wasn't ready skill-wise, um, but I'm just going to have to make the best of it. And so far, I, I am, but right here, I had already given up a hit, and they made a great hit. The pitch wasn't bad, but he gets a, a triple and an RBI. RBI triple. So, basically, you can throw out the door any chance Eric Paul had at winning this game. And, of course, the very next batter, he gets the out. That's how the game seems to work for me these days. I give up, I give up a couple runs, and then I get the quick out. And you can see the Giants lose. So, two losses... In uh, the first two relief efforts for Eric Paul, even though he didn't actually lose that game, he only gave up two earned runs. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching.